Okay, so I'm back again with another uh, split level house walkthrough. This is a different floor plan. I don't know if I've shown it yet. I may have. I don't know. As few videos I have of houses like these, it's very easy to lose track of them. But I lose track of anything at the drop of a hat, so <laughs> that doesn't mean much coming from me. Anyway, let's take a look inside. I go through these double doors, so fancy, you know. And up the stairs, and we have the living room with the vaulted ceiling, hanging lights, lights uh, on the sidewall too, I think they're called scones or something like that. They always confuse me because uh, they're like pronounced the same way as the breakfast treat. And it's like, oh, well, which one is which? Or it just seemed to me like they'd be pronounced differently, but I guess not. Anyway. Go into the kitchen, which is fairly small, but you know, it has all the rudimentary stuff. A fridge, which is lacking a door, a sink, and an oven, and a crafting table. Small but functional. And then we also have a deck, which is larger to uh, compensate a bit for the smaller dining space. Like you could put out a patio set here and use that as the main table or whatever. And going back inside, if I can just get in here, there we go. Going back inside, we have the main upstairs bathroom, which is fairly nice, I think. It's got uh, the torches as light, shower, bath in the back, toilet, and a double vanity with mirrors. And let's close that. And we have one bedroom on this side. Pretty average, nothing exciting. It has a nice view of the pond, though, which I mean to expand fairly soon. And. Close that. And we have another bedroom, which is smaller than the last one, but still fairly functional. Nothing very special about this one either. And that's all for the upper level. Let's go ahead and take a look downstairs. First off, we have another bathroom, which is a bit smaller than the one on the upside. And it's still got the same general stuff. Bath, shower, toilet, vanity. And we also have the lower level family room, which is... That's just a lower level family room. You could put a TV in here, some couches, it'd be real cozy. We also have one bedroom in here in this corner, which also kind of has a view of the lake in the other houses. Let's see, did that close? There we go. And then we also have the laundry or utility room with a water softener or heater, rather, and a furnace and a washing machine and a dryer. And let's go back up and out through the garage. Which, again, is really nothing special. It's just a garage. Nothing special. Nothing to see here. <laughs> we also have a small air conditioner, and uh, this is where the, the bedroom windows look out over. Let's go around the back. We have this kind of bump in the back of the house where the upstairs bathroom is. We have the deck and the panel lighting in the kitchen, which is something I forgot to mention on the first time through. And let's just go around the front here and take a quick look at the landscaping, which is just uh, some spruce bushes and a couple of flower pots. Nothing terribly fancy. And. This is one of my favorite features of this house, is this uh, area on top of the roof here. It's just kind of a neat design, it adds a bit of texture and visual interest, and I'm pretty fond of it, frankly. And the pattern on here is supposed to be like the, I guess, beams you could call them on the Tudor inspired houses, but because of the block sizes in Minecraft, they just look kind of, not awkward, but I don't know. I'm pretty pleased overall with it. It's probably one of the better houses I've made lately. Hopefully these ones I'll complete soon so I can do a couple walkthroughs of those. 
and uh, maybe some more stuff uh, down the block a bit. Alrighty, well, I think that wraps this one up, about five minutes or so. Yeah. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, favorite, whatever. If you didn't enjoy, please feel free to leave some constructive criticism. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.